What's up everybody, Adrian here from Drive to Thrive. How y'all doing? Happy Canada Day, happy 4th of July for all of our American viewers. Man, I was just sitting down to record this episode here, looking at the calendar, and I can't believe it's already end of June. So half a year has pretty much gone by in 2021, and we're down to the second half of the year here. So as always, with it being the end of the month, I wanna take a look at our last four trades for using this uh, credit spread strategy, seeing how we did, what kind of returns we got as well as uh, take a look at our next five trades but really on paper I only put down four so let's get started All right, so looking here at our uh, closed out positions from May 26th to June 26th. So uh, we did Beyond, Beyond was really good. We only gave up $10. Disney, Disney, what can I say? Mickey Mouse just doesn't want me to get that full credit. This is the second time I've done a trade on Disney and I wasn't able to keep all of my credit. So in this case, I gave up 240, so only got to keep about 20 bucks, pretty much break even. Then we have FedEx, I gave up $15. Lyft, I gave up 15. And Square, $12. So overall, on the month, out of a possible $1,246, I was able to keep 954, so not too bad. And let's look at our uh, journal here and overall, uh, portfolio so since uh, beginning I've done about 11 trades not including the five that I have going on right now I've closed out all 11 for a hundred percent profit here of two thousand and twenty four dollars since back in April so uh, let's do a quick calc here two thousand twenty four divided by five thousand times a hundred equals about forty point five percent on the year so far so forty percent return in two months is pretty good if we can keep it up we can double this portfolio in no time so let's take a look at those four trades that we have going on. So taking a look at our current four trades, I technically have five, but I'm only putting down four on paper. But uh, so we have Peloton for a maximum reward of $160, about return on risk 47%. So that's a really good one. And it also shows you guys, so my maximum risk on this trade is only $340. So if anybody tells you that you need like $10,000 to start investing, you know, it's not true. So you can start with as little as $1,000 and you can have your risk being, you know, about 340 on this trade. So uh, this is definitely a good starting point. Now let's go over to uh, Coin. So Coinbase, we have maximum rewards, 280, return on risk about 39%. FedEx, we're looking for $250, 33% return on risk and Disney. Damn Mickey, you better let me keep this credit this time. So 240 for our maximum reward and 32% on return on risk. So let's go over and look at some charts now. So looking at these uh, current positions that I have going on, so we got Tesla. Tesla is the one that I didn't include in the previous slide. It's because I only have six days left to expiration and I've pretty much claimed about like 85% of the possible, but let's take a quick look at Tesla here. So I sold this $595 uh, strike here. So uh, looking, you know, to sell this support and sure enough, we held it nicely. Actually seems like, if I reset, we have this breakout right now for uh, Tesla happening. So maybe if we can get a nice retest of this rising trend line here you know find the uh, support and maybe take off if we get this pullback then i'll be looking to do another uh bull put spread and uh this time i'll be selling probably the same level so i'll be selling that 600 695 depending on what kind of credits i get for these so that is our trade number one now second trade is uh peloton so this one is also a bull put spread and we're looking to sell the july 16th hundred dollar strike so on peloton we're selling this hundred dollar strike again this is acting as a really nice support level here so it was just uh safe uh safe trades to put on just underneath this 200 day an average and again so far looking good on peloton looks like we'll get to keep majority of it then we have netflix expiring july 23rd 480 dollars strike this one is also a bull put spread and so i'm selling this uh, 480 dollars strike so just beneath the lows here 
close to the support level that goes back to july of 2020 so if you're able to play netflix just within this range you know i love i love using this credit spread on these ranges because anytime it gets up to this 560 dollar mark you can do a bear call spread and once you get down to these lows at 475 you can do a bull put spread so really nice for those and now we have disney like i mentioned before so this is a bear call spread so in this case we are selling the july 16th 180 dollar call so bear call spread so we're selling this resistance right now so as long as disney stays below this 180 dollars we get to keep that credit so let's see what happens in the coming up weeks here and last but not least we got coinbase so coinbase i got so this is a uh bull put spread as well selling the july 16th 2020 strike 220 dollars strike so this is that support level that i'm looking at right now but again with all this negative news around crypto uh you know i'm feeling not that optimistic this might be my first loss you know using this strategy so we'll see that's why i have a set bottom here if you guys can tell you know i've set this red line down at 211 dollars if you break this level you know then it's time to take a loss because we're going way lower than than these prices okay guys so those are my current trades that I have going on for these credit spread strategies and if you're enjoying this video so far please don't forget to smash that like button and once i get to 100 likes on this video or any other ones in the future then i will drop a detailed episode on how i do these credit spreads how i set my strike prices and so on and so forth but if you feel like you can't wait till those 100 uh, likes then I did just open up a Patreon uh, account where I have three levels of membership. So I have basic, premium and VIP. With basic, you'll get all of my uh, charts and everything that I'm looking at, as well as access to the chat room. With the premium one, you'll get all the benefits of the basic. Plus I'll send you all the trade alerts I'm doing. So any buys, sells, any options, stocks, whatever I'm doing, I'll let you know. And for the VIP membership, that's the creme de la creme. This is where I will teach you guys everything I learned from my mentors over the last seven years, as well as all the option strategies that I'm doing currently in this video, as well as long calls, long puts, iron condors, and doing naked puts and stuff like that. If this is something you're interested in, I will put a link in the description below. Please check it out, but let's keep moving here. All right, so look at our overall numbers on these four trades. We are looking to make about maximum reward $930. Our maximum risk is $2,570. So a return on risk for these four trades is 36%. So pretty good, about that 30%. That's what we want. And from a portfolio perspective, so now my portfolio is up to $7,024. The return on that would be 13%. And now I'm only risking 37%. So slowly every single month, you know, we're bringing that risk down. So that's the beauty part about uh, using credit spreads. All right, guys, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you in another video. Ciao.